are you having tightness and stiffness on your chest area and sharp pain when you take a deep breath on the junction of your sternum and your ribs welcome back to my channel and pilates physical therapist i will be demonstrating a yoga based physical therapy treatment plan to stress your chest muscles if you are having costochondritis or thc syndrome so get your mat ready and a bolster to join So let's discuss a little bit anatomy why costochondritis happen. If you're having chest pain and it's more serious, please see a doctor. You want to make sure it's not a heart condition and you're having early symptoms of a heart attack. And when you see a doctor, they will check your vital signs. And if it's normal, then you could be diagnosed with costochondritis or TSZ syndrome, which is the inflammation on the junction on your sternum and your, usually happens on the second and third ribs on your left side. If you look up on my previous video about costochondritis I did a year ago, so this is the beginners, then you are ready for this follow along video, yoga based treatment plan now that you can try because in my previous video is Pilates and now it's yoga. So it's a little bit more advanced than Pilates because it has more stretching, flexibility training that you can really open up your chest area. If you have bad posture, this causes more rubbing on your sternum junction and your ribs. And despite stretching your chest muscles, you'll be surprised that your thoracic area that runs from T1 to T12 and where there's ribs that attaches to your vertebra spinous process it causes friction on those areas. So it gets stiff on your thoracic area. So no matter how much you stretch your chest area, it's also imperative to stretch the thoracic area to open up your chest more. Because as you walk, breathe, and rotate, there's a little bit of rotation that's happening in your thoracic. So it's important to stretch it out, increase the flexibility of your spine, so that it will help the inflammation that you've been having this not just for a few days this could last longer up to six months to a year if you don't start stretching and strengthening these deep postural muscles so now let's start with the exercise the first exercise is you're going to sit up you can do a cross-legged position and if this is dif difficult for beginners, you can get a low towel and place it on your buttocks to sit on so you can sit up straight. So now let's start with deep breathing so you can engage your core muscles. So you take a deep breath through your nose, belly button in and blow. It's important to take deep breaths as you engage your diaphragm and blow. As your diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle, and when you take a deep breath, it lowers down, and it gives more space on your lungs to expand, and when you have more expansion in your lungs, it opens up your rib cage more to stretch. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. Inhale. Belly button in and blow. You can place one of your hand in your stomach area so you can feel your diaphragm going down instead of using your chest muscles. Take a deep breath, make your stomach expand and blow and squeeze it out to engage your core muscles. Take a deep breath. One more breath, belly button in and blow. My recommendation is to do that 10 times before you start with the stretching. Now we're going to slowly turn to the right, take a deep breath, and turn your neck to the right as well to further stretch your neck area and your chest. Belly button in and blow. Back to the center and then turn to the other side. Slowly take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. 
to the right. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and go. To the left, inhale. Belly button in and go. Last set. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and go. To the left, inhale. Belly button in. Squeeze your stomach, engage your core, and blow. And now, just changing the position of your hip area will help lengthen your spine more to challenge. For those who can't do mermaid stretch, where you internal rotate the right and external rotate the left, and keeping your spine straight, you might feel your hip being stretched right now to straighten up more like that as your foundation of your spine. If, you, if this is too difficult, you can do it a little bit closer together. But for those who want to challenge and open your hips more and do a 99 stretch, then it's a little bit more for your spine. So 90 degrees on your knee, on your hip, as well as 90 here at the back. So if you want to challenge and join for the 1990 mermaid stretch, you can join. So you take a deep breath. Place your hands on the side and slowly look up and blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. Now let's progress with slow turning to the right. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Slowly turn your neck further up. Now you feel a further stretch all the way to your chest area. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Inhale again, hold it there longer. Belly button in and blow. And now from this position, you're gonna turn to the other side. So you realize one side is a little bit more difficult and more stretch all the way down to your hips. So you take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And then you can further stretch your neck. Look up, further stretch your neck muscles while your hands on the side. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Let's do one more to the right. One more set, inhale, belly button in and blow. Further go up, take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And now let's turn again to the left. Last one, take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow, look up more and blow. Last breath. Inhale and blow. The breathing is so important to really stretch the deep intercoastal muscles. And now let's do the mermaid stretch on the other side. 90-90 for those who want to challenge themselves, but if it's a lot of stiffness, you can pull it closer like this. Okay, let's challenge yourself for those who want to try. 90 on your left, 90 on my right. And now place my hands on the side first. And take a deep breath first going up. Warm up your hips more. Feel a little bit different in one hip movement and positioning compared to the other side and blow. Inhale, belly button in, engage your core. And down blow. Last breath before we turn. To the left this time. If your legs are positioned to the left, that's the first area you're going to turn. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And now further turn more to the left with your neck. You can feel a lovely stretch in your chest area. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And now to the right, take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And now inhale again, slowly tilt your head further up, looking up. You feel a lovely stretch all the way to your hips. Belly button in and blow. Last step to the left. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. Look up more. Inhale. Belly button in and blow. Now try to position yourself more and sitting up like this to challenge your spinal muscles. Take a deep breath to the right, belly button in and look up 
and go. Last breath, take a deep breath. Belly button in and go. And now from this position, you're going to lean your elbow to the mat. And now we're going to strive to stretch your rib cage area on your left and overhead and blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. You try to use gravity to stretch your ribs. Inhale, belly button in and blow. And then go down. Let's do one more. Inhale, up overhead. And then slowly tilt your head down further to further stretch your thoracic area and blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. And now from this position, you want to strengthen your rotation of your thoracic. You're going to pull your hands all the way down underneath your armpit area. To twist, inhale, belly button in. And now I'm going to twist back up and blow. So you should, you're going to just stop pointing to the ceiling. You're going to slowly go towards your back area. You can feel the stretch in your chest area. Take a deep breath. Pass mid line. You're going to go all the way underneath the armpit of your right elbow area, right shoulder. Inhale, belly button in, and then slowly go up and blow. And then pass mid line all the way at the back to stretch. Inhale, slowly go down and blow between your armpit and your chest. Contract, so you're doing concentric of your chest muscles and then when you go up and further stretch back, you're doing eccentric control while you are in the mermaid position. Inhale, belly button in, back to the center, and then go down and go. Last one, you take a deep breath, pass me blending behind you, belly button in, and then down. Okay, we're going to the other side. Mermaid position to the right. And move the bolster to the other side. And this time you're gonna lean on your left elbow and do overhead first to stretch your rib cage area on your right side. And then you take a deep breath. Belly button in and go. And then you utilize gravity, tilt your head more to the left. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And now let's do two repetitions of swan and upper shoulders more. Take a deep breath overhead and blow. Last one, feel that lovely stretch on your shoulders. Belly button in, overhead and blow. Feel that lovely stretch on your upper traps and middle and lower traps. Let's read this interior. And now you're gonna go underneath between your armpits on your left shoulder side. Take a deep breath, twist, belly button in, inhale and open and go. Pass midline behind, inhale, feel the glove stretch all the way to your hip area. Belly button in and down blow. Inhale, belly button in, open. And blow. Take a deep breath, feel that lovely stretch. Inhale, going down. And blow. Last one, take a deep breath. Belly button in. And blow. Okay, friends, now we're gonna sit up. One knee straight to a long sitting and one knee is bent. And now you're gonna try your best. To reach on your right foot, you're gonna start with your right knee straight, and you're gonna bend forward to stretch your low back area, and then when you lift your left arm towards your right foot, you're stretching your ribs as well as your thoracic area, and you're really gonna try to hold it in a flexion position. Take a deep breath and then inhale. 
down towards the end. Squeeze as hard as you can and hold it there. And now let's do three repetitions of just moving your shoulders overhead. Feel that stretch all the way on your hip area and reach on your toes. If you can't reach your toes, it's okay to reach on your knees. Your leg as much as you can to reach forward all the way to your toes, to your foot and really bring forward to stretch your hamstrings as well as your thoracic area. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and overhead and grow. Last one, you take a deep breath. Belly button in and down below. I'm gonna hold this a little bit longer. And my recommendation is to hold this for at least 30 seconds to get the best stretch on your hamstrings, on your right, as well as your low back area. And then if you can further go down someday, you will get better and you can really touch your head on your knee. Then you can do it someday. It takes a lot of practice to do that. You don't want to force yourself to quick stretch. You want to slowly build up the flexibility of your low back as well as your hamstrings. Okay, let's go to the other side with that lovely hold. Bend your right knee, straighten your left knee. Sit up straight and slowly reach on your foot with your left hand. And slowly lean down, take a deep breath, slowly warm it up. Belly button in and then right hand slowly make a semicircle all the way to your left foot and hold it. Take a deep breath, belly button in and grow. And you'll be surprised, one side is a little bit stiffer than the other. And then overhead, back. Take a deep breath, belly button in and grow. Inhale, belly button in, overhead, and reach down and blow. Last one, take a deep breath, belly button in, and down blow. And now you can slowly, slowly take a deep breath and back. And now we are going to lean on your right elbow in this position, and then overhead again and stretch. Take a deep breath, belly button in, and blow. It's a lot of opening your rib cage and your thoracic area. Inhale, belly button in, and blow. Last one, you take a deep breath, belly button in, and blow. And then don't forget also your right side on your elbow. Take a deep breath, belly button in, and blow. Two more, inhale, belly button in, and blow. Last one. You take a deep breath. Put it in and blow. Now we're going to use the bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use a towel. A thick towel, roll it, and put some tape to make it firm like a bolster. So we're going to lie on it. This is going to be in a horizontal position, and you're in the vertical position. You're going to place it on your thoracic area. And now from this position with your knees bent, so it's not too much pressure. Because usually most of those people with costochondritis have a forward shoulder posture. So you're going to slowly lean back. Feel that stretch all the way. And blow. And now up. If this is too aggressive, you don't have to do a very thick towel. You can start a smaller circumference of your towel. Take a deep breath, feel that lovely stretch, and self massage. Inhale, belly button in, and blow. If you're having neck pain, you don't have to do overhead with your hands, you can place it behind your head to support it, and then just go back as much as you can. You don't have to go all the way down. You can also modify it in this position. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. And then you can progress more by straightening the knees. So this is a little bit more challenging with your knees straight because you're really going to open up 
your chest. Take a deep breath and blow. We're gonna hold this for three breaths. Inhale, still engaging your core, but belly button in. Squeeze your buttocks to support your low back and blow. Two more breaths. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. Last breath. Inhale, long stretch all the way. Inhale, thoracic inhale. Then low back inhale. Belly button in and blow. So that was a, a lovely thoracic mobility. And now we're going to place it in a vertical position. And you're going to place your spinal area in a vertical way as well. Because this is also very aggressive to, to stretch your deep paraspinal muscles from your neck all the way to your lumbar area. But this really targets your thoracic. You're going to open your arms out. And my recommendation is to hold this for five minutes. But for beginners, you can do, do you can do a little bit, just five seconds. Hold, take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. <sighs> Inhale, belly button in and blow. <sighs> take a deep breath, feel the body stretch on your chest area. Let the gravity do the work and blow. Last one, you take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Straighten your leg to challenge your core as well as to get a deeper stretch. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Two more breaths, inhale, belly button in and blow. Last breath, inhale. Belly button in, squeeze your glutes to protect your low back and blow. And that's it. Those are the lovely stretching and strength training you can do to open up your chest if you have costochondritis or TSC syndrome. Feeling a lot better on your thoracic and chest muscles. If you love this video and you want to learn more about physical therapy, yoga, health, and wellness and pilates please like and subscribe my channel ring the notification bell for future updates just like this one i upload videos every wednesdays fridays sundays for yoga physical therapy pilates health and wellness you can also follow me on my social media on my facebook instagram reddit and i have a Patreon account you can check out and support my channel. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you. Until next time, have a great and healthier you. Bye!